to Conquering Mount Scrapmore with Brenda. I'm Brenda and today we're going to tackle some Y scenes by doing a honeycomb block. But first I would like to introduce you to Chandra Coots from Under the Needle. She is going to be one of the hostesses w with me on the International Stitch Marathon, March 4th, 2022. And she is such a charming lady. I would love to take this time to introduce you and you'll find her uh, link to her YouTube channel below. Hello quilt artisans. My name is Shonda and the name of my channel is Under the Needle. So if you don't know anything about me, I am a self-taught quilter from the days long before YouTube. I made my first quilt in 1999 using online articles. I don't know if any of y'all remember about.com, but that's how I learned how to quilt. I had to teach myself how to use my sewing machine. I didn't know what a seam allowance was. I didn't know how to read patterns. And it was tough. It was tough doing it on my own, but I so fell in love with the art. Quilting is my passion and my escape, as are fabric collecting and uh, pattern hunting. I don't discriminate. If you watch my channel, I love the fabric and I love the patterns. And to me, they are separate hobbies, okay? So I started this channel because I was alone in my quilting journey. Um, I don't have any friends or family that take part in this craft. And I just wanted to be able to share my accomplishments, my new finds, and, and my frustrations. And so now I share all of those things with you. So thank you so much for watching. Um, you know, I have a massive collection of fabric and patterns, and I love to share my unboxings, my quilt along updates, pattern reviews, fabric bargain hunts, because I'm always on the hunt for a good bargain. And I also do a monthly giveaway and so much more. So I'm here to give you my best tips, tricks, and practices in a fun and informal way. And, um, you know, I like to keep it light and fun and always honest. There are no quilt police here. So uh, when you visit my channel, it should be like talking with an old friend. So tune into my channel to see what's under the needle. Okay, we don't need a lot of tools to make a Y seam. But one of the tools that's going to help is one pin, one sharp pin, a little ruler where you mark, you know, your quarter inch lines and a pencil. Now, I do my quarter inch, or my Y seams a little different than most people do, but that's okay. Now I'm just going to mark off the quarter inch just by just a little X. X will mark the spot. Oops, there we go. We'll go like this. First things up, that's what we're doing. Okay, so that's gonna tell me where my quarter inch is. Now hopefully you'll be able to see that little X right oh, there, there. Okay, now the next thing I do, I've got my quarter inch foot on and I'm going to just sew these up very quickly. This honeycomb block is really quite cute and it's a really good beginner block for uh, uh, learning how to do Y seams because you end up doing lots of them. So anyways, now I have not left anything open. I've just sewed right across, right? So now what you're going to see me do is I'm going to open this up and I'm going to finger press or iron. Ideally you would iron, but I mean and just very gently along that line, right? So now I'm going to stick my needle right where that X intersects and put it through, the sharp end is on, on top. And now I'm gonna go a quarter inch down on one seam right there. And I'm gonna put it right in that line, right in the seam line, right? So I don't know if you can see that that needle is right in the seam line there. So now I am going to just spin this about just like so. Oh, I should probably do it the other way. Ha! Okay. It's been a long day already. So I'm just going to put this down and through. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay the V on top. No, that's where everybody will go, oh, no, that's not how you're supposed to do it. Anyways, I do it that way. And then as I come up to that 
intersection. I pull my pin. And I just keep going right until where that seam meets. And I hand crank over, right? And now I shift this out of the way. Just very simply. And sometimes it's easy, it comes easier sometimes than others. But I want to fold all this bulk out of the way. I don't want any of it hanging about. I know I said that very Canadian-like, didn't I? <laughs> and I'm going to, and all of a sudden it'll smooth. Now, you can kind of peek under here to see where your needle is. And my needle is in the perfect position. It's just like dropped down past the this side of that seam. So I'm just going to go through and sew the rest. Lift it up and there we go. And I'm just, there it is. Very simple. This is always pressed open. This part is always pressed open and one will always overlap. But this cute little honey um, honeycomb block now will, can go in, is all ready to go into a quilt. <laughs> okay, we had a few technical difficulties, but hopefully the result. I took a two and a half inch strip and I wanted it at least, uh, I don't know, 10 inches or so. Now, a two and a half inch strip and I cut my diamonds, my 45 degree diamonds, right at two and a half, like just like this, right? So we're gonna have some going into the string bin, which is okay, because I'm getting ready to do some string piecing. So these are going into the string bin and this is coming out as a diamond. This brown square is three and three quarters inches square, right? So in case some of you are wondering, now I'm just going to elongate that because even my cameraman went, wow, that was really fast. So what I'm gonna do again is I am just going to sew those two pieces straight together with my quarter inch foot on my machine. So I can just add to the other side of the honeycomb block and I'll just show you. Now I don't leave that gap at, on either end of this, right? And that's where a lot of people will, will tell you, oh, this is what you have to do. Well, I don't do it that way, but it works. Now, if you're hand sewing these, people are, you know, the people that do hand sewing are like, why seams aren't a problem? Because you already have the gap, that quarter inch gap right here, right? Because you, you, you'd have a quarter inch gap here and a quarter inch gap here if you're hand sewing this. But I'm sewing using a sewing machine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attempt my next magic trick will be trying to put this here. So I should make sure I've got a X marking my spot on the back side of this point. Okay. Here we go. And then you just draw your little X, just like so. And basically that becomes your guide. Okay. Your, your little X is there. And you take one pin. And you put it right through that X. And then you put it right in the V, about a quarter inch down. Now when I'm saying a quarter inch down, I'm saying a quarter inch down from this line or this line, right? So you're not getting confused as to how you do this. Okay. And now I'm just going to put it like that. Very quick. Very neat. Now I'm sewing with this side up. The piece I just put together. There we go. And I'm going to go right to where that intersection where that the seam is right where the seam is and I'm just getting a little closer okay now I'm going to hand crank over there if you you fall short you leave a gap and if you're over you see a stitch right so we we want none of those things to happen so what we try to do now is maneuver this a bit 
out of the way so it lies nice and smooth. And sometimes you gotta fiddle with it. And a lot of people don't like, this is why a lot of people don't like white seams. And sometimes you have to fiddle to get it the right way. Now, I'm just going to peek under here to make sure my needle is in the perfect position, which it is. It's just dropped one, it, the needle has dropped just on the other side of the seam, right? So there hasn't really been a stitch. So now I just line it up and off I go. And clip that, clip that. And now I take this and I finger, just finger press this a little, just like that. Now I've also made my quarter inch on these points as well, right? But this is important to, here, I'll show you the back. This is all laying open and there's no bubbles and hard bits and all the rest of it. It's all pretty much laying really flat right now. So there it is. There is my, well now a very elongated honeycomb block. Just using uh, two and a half inch strips and diamonds, 45 degree diamonds, right? And a three and three quarter inch square from my scraps. Okay, this was probably the fastest Y seam you've ever seen done, but hopefully my video has explained how I do Y seams. And it's a very fast technique and I don't worry about, you know, how a Y seam comes out on a sewing machine too much. If they are a little more fiddly, I'll grant, uh, granted, they're a little more fiddly. And some people don't do them the same way I do, which is okay too. As long as you're getting this without a hole and without a stitch showing, good for you. But this is how I do it. So let me think, let me find out what you think in this video. And we would love to send you an invitation to the International Stitch Marathon. Um, just make sure you comment below subscribe like and share with a friend and we'll send you your invitation or we'll get you can email me as well now my email appears in the uh, when you go to my youtube page my home page when you go to the the title called about it'll show you where my email is and you can email me from there or message me on instagram okay we would love to see you there and we're so looking forward to this Okay, you have a happy day, and I hope this helps you conquer your mouth scrap more. Okay, bye! So, I really do hope you've enjoyed this video that you just watched. If you want an invitation to the International Stitch Marathon, please comment in the, uh, below the video. I would love to send you an invitation to this really fun event. A bunch of YouTubers and I have gotten together, and we're going to have the best time ever on March 4th, 2022 from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. It's going to be a blast and we're hoping very much that you come and join us. But the only way to get an invitation is if you comment below. But if you enjoyed this video, share, like, and subscribe. We're um, so overjoyed that you're back with us and you're watching Again, it was, it's was it been such a lovely journey that I've been on. And if you want to see more videos like this, or videos where I show you my pattern, my very beginner-friendly pattern called Barn Swallows, you know, we'll comment as well on those. Okay, you have a fabulous day and a great week. Bye!